guys, Christina Giuseppe here with Celebrity Jabber having a one-on-one -on -one chat with actor Ryan Francis looking dapper. Thanks. So I'm going to get right into it. Working with the Steven Spielberg. Not only working with him, but as a child actor, how is that, how do you even, to explain? Uh, well, yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> exactly. It's Steven very, Spielberg. very exciting. Um, yeah, I mean, he's obviously an amazing uh, director, producer. It was just an amazing experience to work with Robin Williams and uh, Dustin Hoffman and Steve And Spielberg. the film. Yeah, and the was film itself was uh, oh, Hook. Hook. Yes. One of my favorite, no joke, favorite films. <laughs> Funny enough, a lot of people say that. No, because it, it really is such a great film. It's such an iconic film of that era and it, to be a part of that. How does that make you feel? Even now, today, you're still, you know, a yeah. part of that. Yeah, uh, actually, I think I just got like an email from somebody, and it was like I think it's like the 25th anniversary oh. or something's coming up. So they're like, and I'm like, wow, 25th anniversary. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it was an amazing experience. It was like a, a hundred million dollar budget movie. Uh, I mean, literally the ship that you see in the movie was literally like in a soundstage floating wow. in a pool that they built. Getting the scoop here. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, going to Never Never Land, that was all there. So, I mean, Very cool. as a kid, it was... It's like a dream. Quite a thrill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, from, from child actor to adult actor, though, how's that transition? I've just been really blessed. I've just been able to continue to work on some really good projects and such as I mean, share with our audience. Uh, We'd love to know. Okay, well, what the Ryan Francis up to? Uh, well, you know, after I did Hook, I uh, worked on a show on NBC for six years called Sisters. Yes. Which cool. was uh, a very very cool show. Got to work with uh, Cela Ward, cool. George Clooney was on the show for a season. Uh, Paul Rudd, Ashley Judd. Uh, Patricia Callenberg. Who inspires you and how do you keep grounded? Well, my parents kept me in check. Um, as far as inspiration, um, I don't know if I was really like, inspired by any actor. Uh, I know that the first oh, actor, well, the first actor that I really, really uh, liked a lot and really touched me was uh, Sidney Poitier. Oh. Who was. Um, wow. I know, right? That's where you like six years old, like, let me see. Yes, this actor. yes. That's I, started, I started acting at five. Okay, um, so you were already sort of in that. Yeah, yeah I mean, I was definitely, uh, I guess, well, I guess I was inspired then. Yes, I was yeah. inspired by him. Um, I just felt really touched and moved by his performances. Okay. Um, and as far as careers go, I mean, Johnny Depp's got a pretty stellar career going. Yeah, yeah. You know, the freedom, the choices he's made, um, getting to work with a director who uh, really gets him and shares the same vision. Cool. What would you share with our celebrity jabber audience as far as staying relevant in the business as long as you have? Like, what would you tell them for those that are dreaming to do something like this and work with someone like Steven Spielberg and Robin Williams? Um, just stay at it. Uh, never give Don't up. give up. Yeah. Yes. Never give up. Because, um, you know, it's really always um, that one uh, break that can, you know, get you going. And, um, the good thing about acting, it's uh, unlike sports, is like you can never get too old. You can always do it. You can never be too young. I mean, there's always a role, a job, a something for you to do, and um, always work hard. Show up on time to set. Uh, be courteous to everybody because people in front of the camera are just as important as the people behind. There you go. If not, you know, people behind are even more important. <laughs> uh, you know, so just yeah, work hard, be courteous, and uh, show up on time to set. Nice. And what we got? What do we got going on right now? Uh, currently, I uh, recently wrote and directed a short film, which is kind of my next endeavor, okay. is writing and directing, called Open 24 Wait, Hours. Are we are we the first to know this? Uh, no. Just say yes, just say yes. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> no, Open 24 Hours, that sounds like a, okay, this sounds enticing. What yeah, it's, um, it's a short film, it's uh, about a woman who hires a couple of hitmen to kill her husband. So it's, uh... Sounds very romantic. <laughs> yes, it is. It's very romantic. So you wrote it and... Wrote it, directed it. I don't act in it because I actually... Yeah, how is, that, how is that, though, to be not in front of the camera and to work outside and be behind? Is it, is it a whole different world? Yeah, it's a lot, a lot more stressful. Actors show up on set and go home. Uh, doing every... Most, you know, the crew right. and everybody's there two hours before and two hours after. So, uh, yeah, the acting job is pretty easy compared to what everybody else has oh, to do. Okay. Do you hear that? Do you hear yeah. that? Yeah, so, I mean, I was doing hair and makeup, uh, designed the sets, um, props, uh, pretty much everything. It's like your baby. And it you was, nurture very much. And yeah, very, very much. Cool. Very uh, cool. And so I played a couple festivals and got some good reviews and is available on everbrightpictures.com. 
There if you, you want to check it out. And, uh, and then uh, at the end of uh, September, I'm shooting a pilot presentation called The System. The system, okay, share that. What's that about? Uh, it's about the juvenile uh, justice system. Uh, it takes place in like a group home. Um, oh. and it's, um, I play one of the counselors that. Uh, Is this based on well, experience? Not personally, okay. but another actor that I've worked with on another film, uh, he actually works in a group home. So like he grinds out auditions all during the day and then works at this group home from like 9 Great. to like 2 in the morning. So it's kind of based on his life and uh, he wrote it, he's acting in it, and so am I. We recently celebrated the launch party for Zuka. So tell us, tell us about it. Uh, yeah, Zuka is a Bluetooth wireless uh, speaker that uh, goes onto your iPad, goes with your iPhone. Um, actually, any Bluetooth device will work and it's basically a speaker that makes uh, the sound like five times better, you know, because iPad's great, but sometimes you don't get the sound right, that you right. really want to get. It doesn't get loud enough. So. I have a more important question, though. Yes. For people who are not technically inclined, like myself, yeah, is it easy? Is it actually oh, you know, simple? Is it easy for us to work it out? Okay, okay. A caveman. So. <laughs> a caveman. Cave, a cave <laughs> I didn't say that bad, but okay. We also are getting ready to launch a pink tequila called Luna Rosa, which will be available within the next couple of months, wait, I believe. Wait, pink tequila? Pink tequila, yes. Pink tequila? What? The one and Expl only. Wait, wait, explain this. This sounds amazing. Yeah, and it tastes amazing too. It's actually really, really We're, good. Do we have any? Actually, you know what? <laughs> we will, we will. We'll have that for yes. later. Did you watch the Olympics? Oh, of course, no. yes. What's your favorite sport? Um, I mean, I love the track and field. It's great. Uh, I mean, the 100 meter dash, 50 meter dash is always very exciting. Are you into swimming? Swimming, swimming yes, yeah. swimming, boxing. Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit, okay. I like the swimming. Uh, basketball is always fun. And what do you do to sort of have a downtime for yourself? What's your sort of um, mode that you go in? I don't have a lot of downtime now that I've got involved with these brands and stuff. Uh, but uh, I love to soul cycle. love going to soul oh, cycling and take wow. spin class. I do too. Yeah, oh, it's uh, definitely a kick-ass workout. Okay, we should do like a whole spin class video for Celebrity Japanese. That's right, while that. we're spinning. Yes, while we're and drinking pink tequila all exactly. at the same time. Absolutely. Listen to music on the Zuka. There, there you go. What can you tell our celebrity jobbers as far as staying focused and committing to whatever they believe in? What would you tell them? Uh, I would just say, you know, uh, go after your dreams. You know, everything that you want is out there. And you can go get it. Well, there you go. Hearing it from Ryan Francis. Well, thank you guys. We will, uh, we're going to have some pink tequila. And um, for now, we'll see you later. Say bye.